position, do you? Oh, yes. But not as much as our legal clerk, Pollock. Pollock? Isn't that some kind of Norwegian fish? No. I mean, yes, but, but I said Pollock. Ah, uh, Pollock, yeah, he's a good guy. I'm glad he's with us, not with the competition. He's leaving. Leaving? Why? Got a job with the big boys at J. Walter Thompson. What, that agency? I think that's going to celebrate its like 115th anniversary or something like that. Yes, it may be old, but they're ahead on technology. Sent him the offer on one of those newfangled telex machines. So he's going for the big money? Huge. They need a council to keep them honest. Honest? I thought you said he was going to an advertising agency. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're probably right. He'll be coming back with his tail between his legs in a year or so. Yeah. But, but what if he's successful and he stays there like five years or something? Like that? <sighs> if he does that, they'll probably give him a golden rod. If he lasts 20 years, they'll probably dip all of his tackle in gold. <laughs> That'll be nice. I bet he gets to travel to exotic places in their yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got offices all over, you know. Detroit. Chicago, Akron, he may end up there a long time. You know, that J. Walter Thompson, they're really famous. They give out huge anniversary gifts. What if he makes like 35 years? What would they give him? Probably give him a pair of golden pollocks. <laughs> well, that's something he'll certainly want to show off, eh? Yeah, he's irreplaceable. Well, who's going to replace him then? Young, brash attorney. Cook Trencher. Alex. He's a well respected man about town, doing the best thing so conservatively. First of all, it's been a great 15 years working with you, and thank you for everything you've done. It's been a great learning experience for me, especially when I first came in to run JWT New York, but more importantly for the company, you've been a terrific asset and Usually lawyers are the enemies of creativity, but I never felt that way about you because you were always there helping us to solve so many different problems. So again, a big thank you and congratulations. We've seen so many changes over the years. Uh, you had black hair and a white suit when you joined the company, or when I joined the company. Uh, I was much thinner. <laughs> um, I think every pound you lost, I gained. I think the fact that we've been together 33 years speaks volumes. So. I've seen your children grow from, from babies to, to wonderful young women, and I'm so happy for you that you're able to have some time for yourself and to enjoy your retirement, and I, I don't think I can say any more. Most lawyers that I've had the opportunity to work with uh, seem to revel in making it clear how complicated the law is and how incredibly expert that they are in, in the particular subject. Rich, on the other hand, is a guy that really makes the law, however complicated it is, easy for one to understand and you get a clear opinion and you go away having a clear understanding of what the legal point is that he's making and I think we should all be very grateful to him for that. Um, you've been such a great friend. Um, when I've come up, we've often joked about the fact that perhaps that room you have next to your office would be best if it were padded so that we could all come in there and just have our moments. And I will really miss those moments with you. I'll miss your book recommendations. I'll miss, um, I'll just miss you. You're gonna enjoy your retirement so much. You have so many interests. I love peering over my little cubicle wall and watching you with a great big smile on your face and wondering, gee, what's he looking at? And I'll go over to your cube and I'll see that you are staring at the most beautiful Fish. I really can't confirm or deny if I've ever been to see Rich Pollock because what I do and Rich do together usually means you'll never read about it in the media. I just want to say congratulations and I want to thank you for always being in my corner, being the best mentor, the best strategic partner anyone could ever have. I remember about 10 years ago when the whole summer casual craze was kicking in uh, and we were still wearing suits every day, 
that I went to you and said, hey, Rich, do you think we could uh, lose the suits and go casual for the summer? And he said, sure, yeah, I think we could do that. And, um, and as I walked away, I realized, I don't know if he knows what that means. So I asked him, Rich, what does casual mean to you? And he said, well, I think we'd be okay if, if you wore khakis and a button-down shirt and a jacket and, and a tie. So it was with great pride many years later where I saw Rich walk in uh, to work one day wearing a pair of jeans, sneakers, and a, and a, you know, a polo shirt. Uh, I, I really view that as one of my greatest accomplishments here at JWT. I'm so sorry to see you go. You have been a great friend to me, a great teacher, a great lawyer, and just a quality human being who will leave his impact and his mark on everyone who's known him and worked with him all these years. I wish you all the best, and I hope that you enjoy your downtime with your family. Even in the biggest snowstorms or rainstorms or terrorist activity, Rich was always ready to be there, dedicated to his work no matter what. But at the same time, he also really made time for his family, for his friends, for his very many interests. It's just so admirable that he could be such a good lawyer, so devoted to his work and to JWT, but also have such a balanced lifestyle. And I think that's, he's really made that something that was true for his department too and that we really all appreciate that. So we're definitely going to miss you, Rich. Um, we will be thinking about you and uh, appreciate everything you've done for all of us. And again, for me, it's been on a personal side as well as a legal side and a business side. You've always been the voice of reasoning. You've always come up with a way to come up with a, uh, a solution to problems um, in a rational business-like way. Uh, you taught me absolutely everything I know, and more importantly, uh, you gave me a chance. I think I had the world's worst interview when I sat down with you, uh, and yet, um, happily, you, you saw something and, and gave me that opportunity. I just was in awe of how you uh, treated other people and respected them. We are part of your professional legacy here, and we thank you for making us the, uh, the lawyers and, and business people we are today. And we wish you well in, uh, in your retirement. Enjoy. Get the flying fishing rods out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just want to wish you blue skies and lakes full of fish. Rich, I wish you the, the best for your retirement. And I'm sure you're going to have a lot of great breeding ahead of you. I'm sitting with Howard Quartermarshal on one side and Rich on the other with a contract in his hand. And um, I'm listening to Howard tell me why we should do a deal um, with this particular company and, uh, and pitch for this particular piece of business. And I can see Rich is sort of primed, ready on his side of the sofa with his reason why we perhaps shouldn't go into business with these guys. And um, the great thing is, is because Howard had given such a glowing reference and report about these guys and why we should work with them, I think that led Rich to the completely opposite end of the spectrum. And so uh, my, when I, Howard finished saying what he had to say, and then I said to Rich, what do you think, Rich? And Rich said, these fuckers, they, we don't want to do business with these guys. They're just going to fuck us. 36 years? Gosh, that's nothing. Rich is always there for us. You've always been there, um, part of our team, um, always there to help, always there to listen and give us advice and counsel in terms of what we should be doing. And uh, <clears throat> we're really, really going to miss you. What I have admired the most about Rich is his calm demeanor when it comes to crisis. I've called him numerous times, and he's always been there for us. Um, also, I want to make sure that I thank him for all the support he's given my teams. But most of all, I wish Rich the very best. Lots of trips to Paris to visit his daughter, and lots of trips to Montana for his favorite sport, which is fly fishing. So again, from all of us, best wishes and good luck. Overall, um, you're one of the finest individuals that I've been blessed to work with. Um, just always had a great story, always had um, just something insightful to say. So um, I appreciate that. And um, I can't imagine what uh, the future is going to be like without you. Um, but I am thrilled and really excited that you are um, starting this next chapter and uh, adventure and just wish you all the best, Rich. So I wish you, Rich, the very best of luck. Um, you're going to be deeply and sincerely missed. And I hope you enjoy your family. You get to rest and relax and do lots of fly fishing. I wish you the best of luck. There's no one word to describe Rich. Kind and generous. Thorough. An expert. My calming influence. 
Calm. Just calm. 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 Man of mystery. Patient. 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 Most of the time. All knowing. My Yoda. Very precise. A renaissance man. Rich walks softly but carries a big stick. Because he can be scary too. You know? Really nice. Incredibly wise. Beautiful. A professional. Thoughtful and direct. A creative thinker. A great creative mind. Multifaceted. Has a sense of humor. Hilarious. Very funny. Because he does have a fucking dry wit. Ever so slightly funny. A class act. A gentleman. A class act. A gentleman. A class act. My friend. My favorite purple cow. An Eve man. Compassionate. Good to have around. Wise. A mentor. Always there for us. Generous. Generous. The consummate badass. Inspiring. The best. The best. The best. Gone fishing. There's a sign up on his door. Gone fishing. He ain't working anymore. I'd say no more work for mine. On the door I'd hang a sign. Gone fishing. Instead of just a wishing. Yes, sir, I'm gone fishing.